Hello, thanks for being here. I'm Carlos Ordelli. I'm a Venezuelan artist based on Chile since 2015. Uh, I'm a 3D artist and a co-founder of Dain Studio, our motion design studio based in Chile, where we work locally and for different countries sometimes also. We all know that art is a very subjective topic uh, and it can be represented in many different ways. For me, is the power to translate a feeling or a thought into something. This can be in all senses. It can be something that you can see, that you can hear or smell, or even touch. And it can be so powerful that it can produce something in other people too. Maybe the same feeling or a different one, who knows. I dedicate myself to visual arts. I'm a designer by profession and I love the 3D images. Uh, static or moving ones. All of them are impressive, I think. I love how an abstract digital scene can communicate a lot of things. I love also how you can bend a digital world. Um, that's why I challenge myself to experiment and translate what can be created through the 3D arts. As I mentioned before, I'm a graphic designer by title. I learned a lot of things about brand foundation and management in my career. But in that moment, I was far away of what I'm doing now because the things that, uh, that I learned about motion design and 3D wasn't good enough to start working as a junior for that in that moment. Okay. So I learned the 3D discipline by myself with online content, basically a lot of hours of practice and seeing online courses and presentations. With the time, I acquire more experience to work with animation and 3D for, for example, corporative videos, TV commercials, and ugly holiday videos too. <laughs> uh, thanks to that effort, I had the opportunity to work on Sony Television in Caracas, Venezuela, where I learned a lot of new things for, for the 3D and the television, obviously. Uh, and also, uh, I met a lot of, of good friends there. After some time, I moved to Chile and I was working as a freelancer until I, I started dying um, we, uh, together with Roberto Gonzalez, other very talented Venezuelan artist. And uh, here we are, trying to do our best every day, offering services and looking for good new opportunities uh, now, like opportunities on the NFT space, for example. I am very happy and proud about how I have been growing with the years. Um, thanks to every time that I shared with a new uh, artist that I made, I, I started to learn more new things, faster and better, thanks to the others' experiences. Um, and in combination with my design foundations, I like how my 3D style has been evolved over the time into a more, uh, uh, let's say, abstract but uh, clean images with good compositions and with good uh, design foundations. That's why I'm trying to communicate with my art. Now, also, I put a lot of value to the communities. On these days, I think that that is an invaluable thing. Everyone should be uh, in one community at least because the organic growth is incredible. I think that's one of the most important things for today's artist. Uh, for example, that's why we started a Discord community called Dying Collective some years ago for CE artists that speak uh, Spanish because there is not too many Spanish community there and we, uh, as I mentioned before, I think that um, the artists should be more united. Right now, we can consider that I am in Foundation, the NFT marketplace for crypto artists, but I'm still working on my first piece. Uh, the first piece is always difficult. I hope that everybody can see my art very soon there. Uh, apart of that, I'm on Twitter and Instagram uh, as at Cidordelli. I always will be on every social media with the same user the letter C with my last name. I like my, my last name, actually. I think that right now I am on a very exciting moment, actually, because I feel very inspired now um, to share what I do and also what I know with a lot of people over social media. 
it has been a very comforting process for a few months now um, because uh, all my social networks were dead basically years without posting anything and now i connected with a lot of very talented and cool people from different things and the styles <laughs> so this gives me a lot of energy to keep putting a lot of effort to maintain this networking alive uh, and i have uh, the short term plan to start upload educational content where i can be able to help people to do things in 3d motion basically and i think uh, my worst moment is not only one it's a more a repetitive moment from time to time unfortunately the creative industry is a really unfair industry i think uh, even more for small countries that's the reality where the everyday life for creative people is tough uh, because almost all the time the production process is totally underrated uh, wasting a lot of time for your life with a lot of stress, a lot of hours without a sleep, for example. Um, it's difficult to go out from this toxic circle or cycle, you know. Um, that also happens in almost all places, actually, not only in small countries. So after take a breath, the worst thing should be converted into motivation. Somehow you need to to put this bad energy from your worst moment into a good energy, let's say. Um, this new motivation uh, will be the engine, let's say, to change and, and improve your life, basically your, your professional and your everyday life. I want to focus my effort into finally start to show more what I do and share what I know with more people. I always saw a lot of people struggling with the same creative and production problems that maybe I already passed and I can share an advice or a solution for those situations. Not only for help people to solve problems actually, I have in mind one vision focus to help people to remove their limits, to don't change or throw an idea just because he doesn't know how to do it. We see beautiful images all the time these days and we are, as an artist we should be able to reproduce it if we want we should be able to translate what we have in mind but obviously we will need a lot of practice for, uh, and discipline for this and last but not least i want to still find in myself to still find in what i actually like and how i feel at the bottom of my creative heart let's say <laughs> and hopefully with a lot of effort put what I feel into something that everyone can see. I met Tuxitro thanks to Instagram. He finds me and he was very, very kind to invite me to participate into this Talent Tales uh, series. Uh, when I saw it, I immediately loved like, the, uh, the idea. Uh, this kind of initiative are totally, totally good for the community. A lot of people can be inspired to other um, uh, artist experiences and can be an important influence for their careers also. Thanks again for the invitation. I really enjoyed this little conversation. Thanks a lot to Citro to give me this space uh, to share my story and my thoughts. I really hope that what I say will be useful for other artists. Hopefully it will inspire someone. Um, as a little word of, of advice, remember to believe in yourself and also in what are you doing. Don't forget to have patience. That is a really, really important thing on this creative field. And also be, be respectful with your own creative process. This topic is, uh, is a lot related with your patience. If you keep all of that in your mind, I'm pretty sure that you can achieve whatever you want. Uh, so thanks again for everything and take care. Cheers. <laughs>